When you're working with Edge Animate, one of the benefits is the ability to go in and set it up exactly the way you'd like to have it. Now, what we're looking at is the default layout, but this is a little bit too crowded for me. When you first open up a program, there is another window we haven't talked about, and this is Lessons. This is actually a very good resource, so you can check out different tutorials. But for right now, it's taking up space for me. So I'm going to simply close this, and now this is spread out a little bit better. And I may want to add in the code window. So I'm going to come down to Window, and I'll have the code here, so I can click and drag this over. I'm going to place this right beneath, if you notice the little blue lines that are showing up there, I'm going to place this right beneath my library. So once I have all that set up, I can go to Window, Workspace, and set up New Workspace, and I will call this one Tony underscore 01. And I'll click OK. So now, even if I went back to the original workspace and go to default. Now, if you've noticed, nothing's changed. Problem is, we've already moved around what the default setting was. So we'll now go up to Window, Workspace, Reset Default. And we'll ask, are we sure? We'll click Yes. And so now, here is the default workspace. And now I'm going to go back and set the other workspace I just built, Tony01. And here is my workspace. So by setting up your own workspace, you'll be able to work a little more efficiently because you have the different windows set up exactly where you'd like them to be.